Hi and welcome to another episode of Redken Brymaster. Now for today's episode, this is my anniversary episode because exactly one year ago I started my YouTube career, if you want to call it that way. And uh, I wanted to say thank you to all the support, to all the critique that I got, both negative and positive. Uh, it really helped me grow and obviously if you think back, you know, it started off with a uh, a GoPro and then went in onto a phone and then went onto a proper camera and I'm learning every time I shoot and uh, I really enjoy it and I hope so do you when you watch my videos. Now for this uh, anniversary uh, YouTube video I chose a very hearty dish and we're making a chili con carne. Uh, it is a combination of various recipes that I found and I hope that I uh, you know combine them in a in a nice manner so uh, I hope you're going to try to cook it as well um, and enjoy it as much as I do. So yeah, so what you need for it and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for the chili con carne for today. Now you need some garlic, you need a cup of coffee, you need kidney beans, corn, uh, peeled tomatoes, you need onions, sugar, dry rub or a chili con carne um, seasoning. You need some tomato paste, some red wine, a bio lemon, some bay leaves. You need uh, some minced beef. Now you can substitute half of the minced beef for uh, cubed or, or diced uh, turkey breast. I thought that was interesting. I saw that in a different recipe, but uh, we're not going to do that for today. Now you need some chilies, you need some natural yogurt, you need spring onions as well as a, a little bit of um, uh, bitter chocolate and later on we're going to eat it with some ciabatta bread and just in case you're wondering where we're going to cook this now we're going to be cooking this on the kamado in my dutch oven as usual let's take care of the um, cutting first and all the prep work so very quickly we're going to um, take the skin off the garlic and cut up all the other vegetables. And last but not least for the chilies, now what you want to do is you want to keep one for decorational purposes <laughs> and then cut the other ones into small little chunks. Obviously be careful, you know, if it's too hot, you might want to be careful, especially if you have children that are eating the chili as well. So if you do it for a child's birthday, I would recommend that you go light on those. But if you only have adults or if it's your regular evening food, then uh, just go ahead and make it as hot as you like. The Dutch oven is nice and hot and I already put some uh, olive oil into it and now we're going to add the onions and give them a bit of a roasting. And then shortly after we add our garlic and give it a good stir. About two minutes later, we're going to add the tomato paste. Stir that in well. And then we're gonna let that sit there for about three minutes until we're ready to proceed. After about three minutes, we're going to add our minced beef and obviously, you need to make sure that you break it down into individual little pieces because obviously we don't want one gigantic blob of beef but we want the beef to be nicely mixed with the rest of the ingredients. After about five minutes the meat has fallen apart sufficiently and uh, the purpose is really not to give it any kind of uh, like roasting aromas but just to make sure that it's cooked a little bit and now we're going to add the red wine and the coffee 
and give it a good stir. Make sure everything is nice and coated. And then we're going to add the beans, the corn, as well as the tomatoes. But before that, we're going to bring it back up to a boil. The broth is boiling again, and now we're going to add the tomatoes. The corn. And obviously the kidney beans. Now I've washed the kidney beans um, and taken it out of its can because obviously they come in some form of liquid and obviously you don't want that liquid in there. So give it a quick stir. Now that is already starting to look like a chili con carne. And now we're going to add the other ingredients which is the chili con carne rub, the sugar, as well as a few of our chilies. And we'll give that a stir. We're going to add our tea egg with the bay leaf leaves inside. And I like to use that because otherwise you have to go hunting for those bay leaves. But just push it in, cover it, it's going to soak and release all these lovely flavors. And then we're going to close the lid and let that cook for about half an hour. Just as a quick update, um, I'm looking for a total cook time of about two hours. And uh, the target temperature in the Kamado is 200 degrees Celsius. The half an hour is up and it's nicely bubbling away and now we're going to fine tune our chili which means we're going to add the chocolate into it and we're going to squeeze in the juice of a whole lemon just make sure that you catch the seeds because obviously that's not something you want to, to eat Give it a good stir and then we'll close back the lid for another hour and then we're ready to eat. Exactly two hours later, let's lift the lid. And doesn't that look awesome? Well, I'm gonna prepare a plate now and I'm gonna see you for the final review. All right guys, and there you have it, our chili con carne from the Dutch oven. What I've done is I've added some natural yogurt on top of it, a few sprinkles of spring onion and a few of uh, the remainder of the chilies. And uh, obviously the bread is ready and we're gonna dig in now. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the chili con carne made in the Dutch oven. Now, uh, once again, thanks for celebrating my one year anniversary with me on YouTube. Um, I hope there are many more years to come and I hope uh, you enjoy the content that I'm producing. Now, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. And please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Redken Brymaster.